Hi beautiful, welcome back to another nail tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna push the cuticle back. You always want to push the cuticle back. This will open up your canvas. It's gonna lift the dead skin that's attached to your natural nail, also known as your cuticle. It's just some protein that builds up to protect your epinichium. So you wanna push this back and then we're gonna go in and do some prep work. So there it is, we're gonna brush that away. And now I'm gonna go in with this cuticle bit by Kiara Sky. And I'm gonna go through and, you know, it's been a while since I've done my nails one and two, that protein buildup or that cuticle can be very sticky and stubborn. So with a tool like this or a bit like this, you are able to just go in there and like really make sure it gets up and off of your natural nail. And then I'm gonna go in with a very small ball bit. It's so small that it's really nice because it can tuck in and underneath that cuticle area or your epinichium. And, um, you know, it really helps prevent lifting, basically. So I'm doing a much more extravagant prep because, like I said, it's been a while since I've done my nails. So I'm gonna do those two steps. And then I end up using my cuticle nipper to nip off some dead skin. And then I go in with my sanding band by Panna. I will leave links with promo codes in the description box. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.
hundred my tattoos just a remedy 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 and the way you go baby don't you know there's a remedy 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 yeah yeah there's a remedy remedy yeah oh no darling put loose ya ain't gonna lose ya i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna do that darling put loose ya ain't gonna lose ya Carried all the weight on my shoulder Had me going never once I told you no Told you no Kept going like a marching soldier Play my part, boy, I had to hold you down Hold it down When the tidal waves come around Then wipe off what we built Would you fight for love Or would you back down And let a hope drown When the world is everything No break us up for good Would you hang around Alright, so now I will have a nice clean canvas <laughs> I'm always stumbling on my words And I'm going to go in with Young Nail Swipe And my manicure brush And I'm going to swipe down to get rid of the debris And dis not disinfect um, Dehydrate my nails And get ready for tip application I had started applying my primer and I was like oh no I'm supposed to put on my tips but um that might be kind of a nail hack like just apply a little bit of primer at your tip if you use base coat like I do to cure my tips to my natural nails I do have a glue allergy but you don't necessarily have to have a glue allergy to do the base coat method but I also wanted to share this gooseneck um, lamp it's an LED lamp I use it to cure the tips to my natural nails and I like it because it's um, a touch a touch screen anyways I like it because I can just tap it and it turns on and it makes it really convenient and it's also rechargeable so it's wireless so I could just have it on my desk and then move it out of the way and it's again it's really nice and convenient so I just wanted to share that and here I'm just applying and curing and then moving on to the next nails and then I do all 10 nails then I go in and cut to my desired length in this case I just cut off the um, the little tip that says KS for Kiara Sky oh these are the square the extra long square tips by Kiara Sky and they're very pretty pre-shaped you'll see I barely have to file or shape them but I'm going to go in with a Tammy Taylor peel and stick. This is a 100 grit, I believe. And I'm just going to go in on my sidewalls and get rid of any like residual gel or um, pre-shape. I don't know. You don't really have to shape these. And then I'm going to use the same file and then blend the tip to the natural nail. Because it's thicker and it has gel, it's not like um, nail glue. I still went in with the 100 grit. I would actually recommend using the 180 grit. I think that'll be a little bit safer for your natural nails. I mean, I didn't mind using it, but you should probably go in with a 180 grit. Regardless, the goal is to stay on the tip. So you're gonna keep your file flat up against the tip until it's blended down to the natural nail. So the file shouldn't be touching your natural nail, but it it does and it can. It might slightly touch it. So that's why I say the 180 grit would be safer in this case. But just make sure to try to keep the file on the tip only. And then your nail tips will be blended.
Alright, so now I have my tips on and they are blended, so I will be going in with Young Nail Swipe again. I did put on a little bit too much. When you use um, anything that might have acetone or alcohol on your plastic tips, sometimes you get this white residue on the tip. So I do show you later how I get rid of that. I kind of wait a little bit too long to show you, but I show you how to get rid of it. So don't worry about it. If it happens, it's fine. As long as it doesn't crack your tip, you're good. And I'm gonna be going in with Not Polish's Triple X Bond, and I am using their 100% Kalinsky acrylic brush, which you guys, I love. I think I have a new favorite. I can't believe that because I'm very picky with my acrylic brushes and I've actually not had to pinch it and I loved, when I tell you I loved, I loved using it. It is so nice, it's a good balance between soft and sturdy and just feels really nice holding it. I don't know, I just love it. If you're on the lookout for a new um, acrylic brush, this one's in the size 14. I think it's a good size, honestly, even if you are a beginner, but of course you can Get a different size but use my discount code jammy 10 for a discount if you are looking for a brush i know everyone needs that special brush so try it out if you haven't and save some money with my promo code all right so i was talking but you guys saw the colors that i'm going in with i had already started applying my pink color but i had forgotten that i didn't do the thin layer of clear acrylic you guys know i like to do this this way when I go to take off my nails, I know that I could file up to that point and then I can remove the rest with acetone, but it's just a way to protect my natural nail, basically. All right, so now I'm going into the ombre. I'm just showing you that that top bead, I do blend it out a little bit. And I also don't stress having too much on the side walls that's up on the natural nail because I want most of that to be part of the cover acrylic, if that makes sense. So not part of it, but I want most of the cover acrylic to cover that part, I should say. So just watch this application with the glittered, a colored acrylic, because it's color acrylic with glitter. And then we're gonna go into the cover. Barco. 
loco no me monto Te asusto y certero Nací pa' cantante, no fue por Dios ser Más como restos de la otra gente Esa muchacha tiene que tener la mente Pero en mate Si quieres de eso con solo abrazarme Que Dios cuide al que quiera enamorarte Aunque es algo que la mayoría comparte Yo me retiro chico porque no está bien Después de esto cual mujer le va a creer so pretty so we're all done and i love these colors together they look so pretty we're going in with nude panther by not polish and i'm gonna go in and grab a smaller bead and place it where the natural nail meets the colored acrylic or the glitter whatever you're um, using to ombre and then i'm gonna work my way up towards the cuticle area Okay. I find this to be helpful. You can always use smaller beads or just one bead. It depends on what your um you know what level you're at. If you're more advanced, then some people could just use one bead and blend it down. Or if you're a beginner, you can use a smaller bead first, blend that down, and then work your way up. I like doing it that way just because it's a little bit more precise for me and it's helpful for me specifically. And then I just add beads as I see fit. It and then blend it down and I also make sure that I don't forget my right there see how I'm putting it on the sidewall right there I want to make sure that when you turn the nail it looks like it has that cover acrylic on there and it's blended down as well once I'm happy with how it looks I'm gonna go in and encapsulate everything that I did this way when we go into file you don't file away your blend and you also want to encapsulate the glitter in this case so I will go in with the clear bead and I'm using a wet bead so that I can drag it down and also I find that like when you use a little bit more of a wet bead over acrylic it makes it or not acrylic over glitter it makes it nice and clear but you guys I was really happy with this clear you'll see at the end it's like crystal clear you could see the glitter perfectly there weren't any bubbles or anything so I really enjoyed using not polishes clear another thing I want to add is that you're more than welcome to just do the steps separately I went in and just did everything at the same time but you can um, apply your cover acrylic and do the ombre blend on all 10 nails and then come back and encapsulate everything instead of you know doing it all at once like I did so it's just preference and it's an option for you whatever is faster and easier for you
I'm really working on taking a little bit more time on my application to avoid filing so much. So you'll notice that I'm definitely taking a little more time with the application and perfecting the shape. And then it actually did help with the filing. So I did not need to do much and you will see that later. But here you see that I'm getting rid of the white marks and all I did was use acetone and a Q-tip and go under and it just goes right away. So no need to worry about that. I want you guys to notice the nail towel, how it doesn't pass the piece that I have over the nail towel that I'm using. I cut them in pieces, but I also lay one flat underneath, but it, they're so good at absorbing everything. And another note is I should have probably switched to the dryer side so that I didn't have so many issues with having so much monomer um, on my brush, just because when it's completely wet and saturated on the towel, and you're dabbing it, there's still a lot of moisture there, so it's not really swiping the monomer like you want it to. So you wanna turn it to the drier side once you see that it's saturated that way. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> that's it application is done and it looks so good i'm actually really proud of myself but i'm going in with tammy taylor's 100 grit file and then i'm going to go on my side walls <clears throat> excuse me i'm going to go on my side walls under my side walls to get rid of any jagged edges and then parallel up against my side wall to file them nice and straight and then my tips I do kind of angle the file a little bit so that I get that crisp shape on the corners. I like that look. I, you know, if you don't, then just file it straight. But I really like how it looks. And so I'm just going to do all 10 nails and then we'll move on to the next step.
right, now we are done shaping the perimeters of the nail and the tip. But I'm going to use the same file and I'm going to go over the surface of the nail and just make sure everything is flush and level. And I'm going to do that on all 10 nails. And then I'm going to go in with my e-file to work around the apex area and around the cuticle area, making sure the acrylic is flush to the natural nail around the cuticle area. And then also making sure that the apex is nice and high for whatever your length is so since these are extra extra long then i need a decent um, height for my apex so always keep that in mind when you are doing your nails make sure you have a good apex so that you have that strength there okay So like I said before, we're going to go in and focus on the apex area and the cuticle area and make sure that the acrylic is flush to the natural nail. This bit is the Smooth Taper Barrel by Erica's ATA. I really love it. It worked awesome. And also my e-file is also... Also, my e-file is by Erica's ATA. And I'm using it at, I believe it's at 9 to 10,000 RPMs. I'm not really sure, you guys. This torque is really high on this e-file, so you don't really need much to get it to do what it needs to do. So I think I should have checked or double-checked or remembered what I was using it at. And tell me why I didn't remember to use my dust collector before when I was filing. And then when I remembered, I was like, oh, I haven't been using the dust collector. So I grabbed it and then put it under. But I need to remind myself, I probably should put a sticky note or something to let me know to use it. Because I was so used to not using it. But it is important. You should use a dust collector.
taking away, yeah, we're taking away. Don't hesitate now, we're taking away, yeah, we're taking away. It will never calm down, we're going away, yeah, we're going away, you and me. Feeling the sun on my face in a while. From a ghost town where we never feel high to slow. We won't ever come down. We won't ever come down though. Feeling the sun on my face in a white. All right, as you saw, we buffed all the scratches off and make sure we have a nice smooth canvas for nail art. But I am going to go in with some cuticle oil. This one is from Not Polish. I think this one's the peach one. It smells really good and I love how it feels. So I rub that in and then I go wash my hands. And I don't show it here, but I did go in with isopropyl alcohol to get rid of any oils on the surface of the nails. We're gonna go in with this purple white by Not Polish and this Panna 3D brush. And I'm gonna go in and show you some 3D nail art. This isn't your typical uh, flower. I don't even know what kind of flower it is, but I was just freestyling and it turned out to be pretty cool. So I just want you guys to see it and watch how I did it. And then, yeah, let me know if you guys try it, if you like it. And tag me on Instagram if you are on Instagram, if you haven't followed me. It is Jamalitas underscore nails. And show me what you did. I love when you guys share your recreations of my designs. It means so much to me. I look forward to seeing that if you guys try this. I was so sure I let my heart down for you. Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? I gave you my heart and you tore it apart. Don't know why you had to hurt me, hurt me like that. Cause now I'm messed up, drinking nonstop. Just trying to forget you and everything we said. But I can't seem to get these thoughts out of my head. Oh,
All right, that was a process and hopefully that was satisfying for you to watch. But I just want you guys to know that if you're starting out and you're not comfortable with 3D nail art, you can leave the set as it was before we started with the 3D nail art and just throw on some gel top coat. That would look beautiful anyway. Um, I am going in with Zule's Bling It Adhesive. Your beads or your stones will not go anywhere with that. I love it, so I highly recommend it. And I'm just going to put in some beads in the middle of the flower with the tool from Kiara Sky. This tool is really nice. It's a picker-upper tool. I'm just kidding. I don't know what it's really called, but it's a tool to pick up your um, stones and your accessories. Now I'm going to be going in with some base coat. I've been seeing around that this is really helpful for nail art, especially line nail art or lining. I don't know. Correct me in the comment section, but I'm going to go in with some liner gel by Kiara Sky. This one is in the color white canvas, and we're just going to do some swirly lines on each nail to add like a pop of white and some nail art to go with the 3D flower. And that's it. And then I'm going to top coat with Not Polish's Glosset Gel Top Coat. And you will then see the end result. And that's everything, you guys. You made it through. Let me know if you guys try it. Let me know if you love this. Give me a like. If you love this design or if you found anything helpful in this video. And if you're new, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of, you know, the Lita family here. The Lita squad. I've, heard, I've seen people see that uh, say that too, the Lita squad. But you guys... Thank you guys so much for the well wishes for my husband. Thank you guys for being here. I love you very much and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye. Que vuele, pero motivos para quedarme. Tú me ves como nadie más bebe. Me diste alas para que vuele, pero motivos para quedarme. Tú me ves como nadie más bebe. Tú me curas cuando más me duele. Sé que siempre has sabido amarme. Por ti mi corazón palpita, siempre he sido tu chiquita. Cuántos te amos van ahorita, yo ya perdí la cuenta. Quiero decirte que te amo. Ya van segundos y te extraño. Que dure siempre esta casualidad. Es que los otros no entienden. Yo lo sé que te enamoraste y yo bebé Real no soy perfecta, amor que me inyectas No me dejas quieta